Hi Crochetters of the World! In this tutorial I want to show you another, let's say, version of the arrow stitch and this is it. This is the little swatch that I made uh, to show you how it looks. So in this design, as you can see, the arrows goes first, go, uh, the arrows um, go first uh, on the left side, these are the little arrows and into the next go uh, go on the opposite direction so right and left and right and i think it's really nice and it can be really really a beautiful idea to combine with the first version and i will show you uh, how to uh, go on to continue on with the next uh, with the the first version if you want to make a neck warmer or a scarf or uh, something else now let's see first how to work it uh, we need a multiple of three. I will work on this uh, multiple of three. I will work a single crochet row just because I need a, a foundation uh, to um, explain uh, clearly the, um, the way you have to work it. So when you work it, you don't have, you can skip this step. Okay, this is the idea. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, let's say uh, it's okay. 12, it's okay for this watch. And I will just chain one more and insert the hook into the same uh, second chain from the hook to work one, the first single crochet. Why into the second chain from the hook? Why I added one more chain? So I didn't want to um, work, so to... Um, I, I want to keep actually I want to keep entire the multiple of three because this is uh, the the important th uh, thing to uh, to work properly the stitch okay so that's why I chained one more because like this I have 12 single crochets here okay so uh, this is what I have, my 12 single crochets. So as I said, this is, um, you, you don't have, you can skip uh, this uh, step. And now let us begin with the first row of the pattern stitch. Chain three for the first double crochet, yarn over. Uh, this is the single crochet where we already worked, actually it's the chain three, so we all already worked the double crochet. So into the second single crochet, let's work one double crochet, chain one, one more double crochet, all in one. Now this is actually a uh, V-stitch. Yarn over, skip two single crochets, insert the hook into the next and work exactly the same thing. Uh, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. And we just want to continue on like this. Chain one, double crochet. Again, skip two, into the next work. One double crochet, chain one, one double crochet. So we continue on like this until the end of the row and we will end up with one single crochet. So one chain, if you don't want to work a single crochet, which means here we want to work our border double crochet. So as you can see, we have one double crochet at the beginning, one double crochet at the end of each row. Okay, this is the first row. From the next row, we will work two rows. The two rows actually of um, the repeating se uh, sequence. So chain three again for the first double crochet, the border double crochet. Skip the first now look uh, uh, carefully. Now we have our first uh, V stitch here and we want to skip the first double crochet and the chain. Insert a hook into the next work, one double crochet and a chain. And yarn over twice and we will go back to work into the first double crochet but we will work around it. So actually we will work a front post triple crochet around the double first double crochet of the V stitch that we skipped. And look at it. We already work it. And actually from our V stitch we work um, crossed let's say cross stitches. So skip one double crochet and the chain one into the second work a double crochet and the chain one and we want to come back around the double crochet that we skipped around front post and to work a triple crochet. 
Okay, this is how we want to work, sorry, this is how we want to work this first row. Now, uh, one double crochet, chain one into the second, work one double crochet, chain one, yarn over twice and around the first double crochet, just work your triple crochet. So just like this, yarn over, uh, skip the first double crochet, the chain, and into the second double crochet, work one double crochet, chain one, yarn over twice, and around the first double crochet, work your triple crochet, yarn over into the third chain of the beginning chain three, don't forget to work your border double crochet. And this is our first row. Now, let's say this from the second row, okay, from, from the third, this was the first, this is the second, and from the third, the th th third and the fourth row will be uh, the sequence to repeat. So now, let us begin with the first row to repeat. Chain three, of course, and uh, we are on the back side. Because we are on the back side, we will see how we have to work. Now, we have here our crisscrossed stitches, uh, and in between them we have the chain one. Skip the first and the chain into the next, into the second, work your double crochet and the chain. So still here, uh, st uh, still, uh, yes, uh, until here we just have exactly the same thing. Now, yarn over twice and we must work around the triple crochet, a triple crochet, but a back post. For the back post we just want to insert hook, look at me, from the front side on the right side of the uh, triple crochet, like this. Now, around it go back on the front side on its left side. Now we have it on the hook. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Perfect. Now we are ready to yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and pull through two. And we did it. Yarn over again, we have the next crisscross sequence. Skip the first double crochet and the chain, insert the hook into the second and work a double crochet, chain one. Yarn over twice and now again we need to work our back post, a triple crochet around our triple crochet. So like this. Can you see? I have my... And it's exactly like this. On the right side of it, here I am, and now I go around the stitch, around the post, and I want to come out on the front side, right. Okay, pull up a loop, and now we are just ready to work. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two, and I work my uh, triple crochet. Now, yarn over, we have an another sequence. Skip the first uh, triple crochet chain and into the double crochet, work your double crochet, chain one. Yarn over twice and around the triple crochet, exactly like this, around the stitch. Now, I am on the front side, yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two, pull, oops, now, again, it's a little bit strange, but it's not impossible. Actually, it's really easy. Yarn over and for the last, we work exactly the same thing. Double crochet, chain one, yarn over twice, and around the triple crochet, go back on the front side, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two and pull through two. And don't forget to work your border double crochet into the third chain of the beginning chain three. Okay, now this will be the second row to repeat and it's easier than the first, believe me. Because this one, so mm, the most difficult is the one that we work on the back side because we have to work this uh, back post uh, triple crochet. Okay. And this is with the front post, so it's really, really easy. We just follow the triple crochet. So into the triple crochet, we work the front post or back post triple crochet. Depends on if we are on the front side or on the wrong side, right side on the wrong side. Okay, so yarn over, skip 
directly into the double crochet, work the double crochet, chain one, yarn over twice, come back around the triple crochet and now as I said it's easier because it's front pose double crochet. Now again into the double crochet work the double crochet yarn over twice come back around the triple crochet and work your triple crochet yarn over into the double crochet work the double crochet and chain one come back yarn over twice come back around the uh, triple crochet and work your front post triple crochet and exactly the same thing we will work into the next sequence last is the next and the last <laughs> okay so don't forget into the third chain of the beginning chain three to work your border double crochet and look at this stitch isn't it just perfect and so easy okay now let me show you one more time the back side because mm, on the wrong side how to work it because let's say this is the most difficult part of the pattern so again this is the first row to repeat chain three and we are on the wrong side which is not reversible as you can see it's flat and on the on the um, front side we have three dimensional okay now uh, skip the triple crochet and the chain inside the hook into the double crochet and this is simple this is easy double crochet chain one yarn over twice and this is the difficult part around the uh, post of the triple crochet but we have to insert the hook from the front and to through the back and to go in, uh, around the stitch and now to work it so I did it you can do it so again double crochet chain one into the next yarn over twice and go from the front to the back around and again on the front pull up a loop pull through two pull through two and pull through two yarn over once because first we were the double crochet and the chain one skipping the tripping triple crochet and now we go back on the triple crochet but from the front side around the post of it we just want to work it as a back post triple crochet and again double crochet chain one yarn over twice around it you can take it as you think it's easy for you the most important thing is the result and one two three into the third chain of the beginning chain three work your border double crochet okay this is the back side and this is the front side and look at it isn't it just perfect now as i said at the beginning of the tutorial i want to show you how to combine these two stitches now for the uh, first version of the arrow stitch that I showed you in another tutorial and you have the link of it below this tutorial um, we have to work uh, we had uh, six so a multiple of six plus two so which means we will work it over two sequences of this because this is multiple of three okay so two sequences I don't count my uh, border stitches because they are border stitches and we just maintain them so I am uh, on the front side so I want to chain three and to turn and let me show you how to work it so triple triple crochet one two three times around the hook and we have one two three this is the first sequence one two three so into the second insert hook and work your work your, work your triple triple crochet okay and now we skipped, skipped five stitches and yarn over because we are on the front side we just want to work five double crochet on the back let's say around the chain now on the back of the triple triple crochet now into the double crochet these are three now into the oh, triple crochet and into the chain and now I have my five double crochet okay yarn over three times and let us work over the next two so one two three four five six into the six and this if you want to combine them this is another very important thing you will put a multiple of three but also a multiple of six 
So it must be 18 uh, plus 6, 24, plus 6, 30, plus 6, 36, okay? So these will be the, the multiples that you uh, need to put if you want to combine these two stitches, okay? And now I have again 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to work. Now into the first is the triple crochet of the previous version and work the double crochet into the chain one in between, work a double crochet, into the uh, double crochet, work a double crochet, these are three. Now again into the triple crochet, work, oops, work a double crochet and again into the chain and that's it. Of, of course, don't forget about the border, double crochet into the third chain, work it. And now you will continue on with the pattern stitch as you know. And uh, you will have a, a really, really nice design if you want to work it double. Okay, so that's it. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Hope you like this new uh, pattern stitch that, that I give you. And don't forget to subscribe. Uh, for more other tutorials on crochet and knitting and see you at the next tutorial. Bye bye!